Today we're gonna be taking a look at the Shadow Air Jordan 1 Low OG. So first things first, as you guys can see, we have a different switch up on the box. Typically you have a black box with the red text. And on this box, you have a dominantly gray box with the black text when it comes to the Nike branding and the swoosh. Now looking at the label, it says Air Jordan 1 Retro Low OG, black, medium gray, white, size 13, just for me. And retail on these was 140 bucks. Now flipping off the lid of the box, you have your all over white paper, and then you got the shoe. Oh, you got the shoe. All right, first impressions of this sneaker. Honestly, I really, really like these, but at the same time, I'm kind of sad. I definitely wish they would have done the 85 cut, saying that this is an OG colorway, and that means they're probably not gonna give us the 85 cut for a long time, unless they plan on doing a high top, which is technically the real OG colorway, because the two original colorways for the low tops back in 1985 was the white neutral gray and the white metallic navy. So maybe that does make sense why they did a low top, even though they have already done this in the past with other models, which we'll get into in a second. But when I first saw these and picked them up, and looked at the materials, I immediately thought of the Mystic Navy Air Jordan 1. And as you guys can see, these shoes are very similar. Obviously, the color blocking is the same, but when you look at the actual materials on the shoe with the shiny black leather and more of the matte finish when it comes to the blue on the vamp and on the back end around the heel and on the swoosh, that's gonna be very similar to this. We'll get into the comparisons in a bit, and we got some other shoes to talk about as well. So when it comes to the Shadow Air Jordan 1 in particular, it feels like we've been getting a release damn near every year at this point. We saw the original release in 1980 and then it took until 2009 until we saw another release of the high top as well but a completely different version with the materials and obviously the Jumpman branding compared to the Nike Air. After that there was a short window of time where we didn't see any shadows and then in 2015 we saw the low top come back in the OG form and I'm sure a lot of you guys remember during that time that sneaker sat on shelves and was at outlets for a long time. Next thing you know we see a retro and a high top version then we see another retro and a high top version and years go by and the hype around the Jordan 1 goes up and then out of nowhere the prices are crazy on all the models from that era and then we begin to see shadow releases dropping in so many different variations i'm talking about football lows golf lows KO lows, KO highs, camo highs, Alele May highs, fly net highs, and with the amount of shadows that have come out just in the past 10 years, it feels like we have been flooded with this colorway in particular. Now I'm also gonna be comparing these against the 2018 retro of the high top OG cut because these are similar when it comes to the OG cuts and then we wanna see the differences between materials because again, I saw a lot of differences between the materials on the lows compared to the highs. And then we'll talk a little bit more about the details and where we see this going in the future. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know by now, now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show hey! so looking at the bottom of the shoe you have your classic Air Jordan 1 outsole and your all black rubber material going up to the midsole same thing here all white with the white stitch and that's gonna be a pure white and then to the upper you're gonna have a mixture of two different styles of leather more of a shiny leather and more of a matte leather on the back end and around the vamp now this is gonna be all black throughout this area and all the gray areas are gonna have more of that matte type finish to it now this pair in particular comes with seven eye holes compared to eight like the OG and this is a gripe that a lot lot of people have because this is considered to be the retro OG low yet it doesn't have the eight holes like the OG did back in the day now one piece of this shoe that I really love is gonna be the Air Jordan wings logo here on the back you're gonna have that stamped in in black and that's gonna be a more of a shiny finish and then going to the tongue you're gonna have your Nike Air branding here with your black patch and your gray text now these come standard with a pair of all black flat laces and an additional pair of gray laces that match with the upper as well and then on this sock liner right here you have an all white sock liner with the Nike Air and and black and that's gonna be on both feet and then when it comes to the collar you're gonna have your black mesh all throughout that area hey yo just real quick I wanted to let you guys know we got a bunch of new merch on the website shopdnashow.com also you guys can click on any of the links of the product tag just below the video here if you're watching on your mobile devices I can't wait to see you guys rocking the gear whenever you cop something make sure you post it on IG so I can see it and then I'll repost it all right let's get back to the video so as you can see everything is pretty much straightforward and to the point when it comes to the shadow one and I think they did a really good job saying that we have seen so many different variations of the shadows coming out over the past years and now we got a very simple a very clean version yet a little bit of a twist when it comes to materials and speaking of that let's talk about these compared to the 2018 pair now obviously yes you can see this pair has been worn so my midsole is a little bit yellow because <laughs> I've worn these a lot but besides that these typically do come with a pure white midsole and then now the actual thing that I wanted to talk about is the color 
and the materials on the upper. As you can see with the materials side by side, they're gonna look a lot different when it comes to the overall sheen and finish to them. And then when you look at the vamp right here, you can tell clearly as well, it looks like the high top is just a little bit thicker and a little bit more, I guess, tumbled, as you would say. And this one's a little bit more fine, have a little bit more stiff of a feel to it. But either way, I've worn these, like I said, on the Mystic Navies and they wear in really well. So I'm not mad how it feels on the foot at the end of the day. Now, everything else when it comes to the shoe when it comes to actual color blocking and those type of things you're gonna have very similar elements you're gonna have the white sock liners with the nike air the black tongue with the black laces color pattern everything is gonna be same and identical there like i said earlier i'm very happy that they just kept it very simple and very clean and got straight to the point on this model and didn't like switch up the tongue color or do something weird because Typically, that's what we get when we see these type of shoes retro and again and again and again. Okay, before I go any further in the video, I forgot to mention, look at the insoles. Now, this is kind of like the Dream Cell insoles, but at the end of the day, they're not the best. But what I can say is it's a small upgrade from what we got in the past. And this is what we typically used to get. Mine's a little dirty, obviously, because I, like I said, I'd be rocking them. But this very, really, really skinny, thin you know, blue insole that we would see on the Jordan 1s back in the day. And we will always be switching the insoles out. So one thing that I can say is on the new low top OG cuts that we have been seeing, we've been seeing a lot of these insoles. Now, they're a little bit thicker. They're a little bit spongier. They're a little bit softer. They're not the best, but I can say it's a small upgrade. They're moving in the right direction. I wish they would do a little bit better, but at the same time, I'm not mad. So right now, these shoes are basically sitting on shelves everywhere. They're available for under the retail price point, and I think that's a great opportunity for you to add a dope shoe, a great universal shoe, and a very iconic, timeless sneaker into your collection for an affordable price. So let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section. Was this shoe a cop or a drop for you? They had a shock drop as well before they came out on Sneakers Live, and then they came out like a couple months later, and even during that time, the prices were still low. And it's crazy to see because shadows have gone through these cycles over the years. Sometimes the shadows come out and they're reselling for a bunch of money. Other times shadows come out and they're not reselling for much at all. So I'm interested to see how this goes because originally when these came out back in 2015, nobody wanted them. Years later, the shoe was like $700. So could this shoe be worth $700 five years from now? I don't know, we'll see. For me, it doesn't matter because I already got these ones laced up for the video and I'm about to rock these as soon as I get done filming this. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And again, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you wanna see any other reviews like this, I have some other ones tagged at the end of the video for you guys. See you in another one, I'm out. I would never let you down. Yo, if you made it to the end of this video and wanna take your collection to the next level, I built a full community with private meetups with me and other members in the community as well. So if you wanna be a part of that and get early access or behind the scene looks on how I run my businesses this is definitely gonna be a place where i can help you scale your collection and potentially start investing in other things outside of sneakers like real estate so hit the link down below in the description and get signed up and i'll see you guys on the inside that's in my dna hey, the hey, only choice i like to make what i'm aware it's today one one i would never let you down that's in my dna the only choice i like to make what i'm aware today